folks, this is Danny Knight. I'm here to help you guys get started on your MTI work for the week of 420 through 424. If you chose to do the outer space drawing, this is going to help you with that. Okay. The idea of this project is to use the element of art space in an outer space drawing. We're going to do that by having a definite foreground, middle ground, background. We're going to have some overlapping. We're going to have some changes in size, placement, value color, and some detail. All right. And the things I said in your direction that you had to have were a space shuttle, an alien, and an astronaut, and a UFO. And then, of course, we want an appropriate background to make sure that our viewers all know that this is an outer space drawing. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is make sure we have our supplies. So I have a good drawing pencil. I like to use a wooden pencil. I've got a nice um, eraser here. And I have my white paper, and I have it turned horizontally here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my first, my last name, my class period is on this sheet of paper, or that the class that I'm doing this for is on this sheet of paper. So when I turn this back in, I know who this goes to. All right. Remember, no name equals no fame. So first and last name. And then this is for Mrs. Knight's class. Okay. Um, explore. All right. I think I'm also going to put that this is going to be for the week of 420, 424. Okay. All right. I think I'm actually going to put that on the back. I know I usually tell you to put that on the front, but that's a lot of real estate there for our drawing. So we're going to put that on the back. So I'm going to turn this paper over. Okay. And the next thing I would do is kind of have a plan of where you want those requirements that you have to have. So in my head, um, I have kind of thought about where I want things. And I'm thinking about having, and of course, you need to draw a light until you know you got it right. I'm thinking about having a, a space shuttle right here kind of off in the distance. And then I'm going to have like my astronaut kind of floating right here, like they're doing um, a spacewalk, kind of tumbling, connected to the spaceship. And then I think I'm going to have my little alien right here. And then some kind of UFO or alien spaceship right in here. And maybe I'll put some planets back in here, off in the distance, and some stars and things like that to give us the idea that we're floating in outer space. Okay. So I kind of have my composition set up of how I want it. Now, in this video, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some smaller section videos. And I'm going to show you how to draw different components of this drawing. And then you can kind of stick it together. You do not have to make your drawing look exactly like mine. In fact, it would be very interesting if they didn't all look the same. So I'm going to start on, the, on another piece of paper by showing you how to draw like a space shuttle. Okay? I'm just going to kind of set this to the side. And I'm using my how to draw outer space packet that I've gotten from various online how to draw sites. I've also have a how to draw aliens uh, workbooks and drawing books. Feel free to go online and look at your favorite sites. Uh, DrawForKidsHub.com is one of my favorites. Okay. Um, you can just look at a regular different space shuttle. So that will help you. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of tilt my paper a little bit because I don't want it to just be straight or straight up. I'm going to kind of have it going at an angle because that makes it a little more interesting. So I'm going to first start with this long kind of oval shape. And remember, you want to draw kind of light. Now I'm drawing a little bit dark here because I need you to be able to see it on the screen. All right. Almost kind of looks like a little bullet shape. Let's just start out my space shuttle shape. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some wings here on this back end. All right, so I'm going to start about right here. And I'm going to draw it out. And then come this way. All right. And then on the other side, this wing is going to be a lot shorter. Because of the way that this space shuttle is turned, this wing is closer to us than this wing is. Okay, so it's going to appear shorter. All right. 
I also want to put that um, oh, tail, fin, fin tail. I don't know. Kind of reminds me of a fin, like a shark. So I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to go ahead and erase the inside right here because, again, this wouldn't be made out of glass, so you wouldn't see through that. Hopefully you can start to see a little bit of the shuttle coming through here. I'm going to go ahead and kind of bump this up a little. Remember, if I'm going too fast or too slow, you can always adjust the speed of the video. You can put this on pause so that you can work a little bit slower. Or you can put this on fast forward. And all I did was kind of jet this out. This is to help give you the idea of the rockets back there. Okay. All right, now we're going to start to add some of the details on this. All right, I hope you can start to see a little bit of the spaceship coming through. All right, so, excuse me for one second. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to come up here and move towards the front. Okay, and I'm going to put a little uh, backwards C shape in here. Have this come around. This has this going all the way to here, all the way to the wing. And then it kind of comes out to here and goes down. Kind of darkening up these lines as I go. And then it's also, I need to straighten this up. It's a little curved right there. And then I'm going to do the same right here. Okay. Now, they have changed up the shape just a little bit right here. They've kind of gone in just a little and gone back up just a little. You can see that. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit right there. Maybe. Okay, no, I'm not. Okay. And then they've put the glass or the windshield, maybe. I wonder if you call that the windshield. Windshield right here. It's kind of curved. To help trick our eye and to help making this look more 3D, so I'm going to do it like that. Okay. They have another line right here. They have just a light line right here. I'm just darkening up my lines there. All right. They have put a line here. And then they have added that same line right over here. They have put a couple of stripes right there. And then they've added a thin stripe along the top here to help give you the idea that that fin has a thickness to it. It's not just a thin sheet of paper. Okay. And then they have added, I don't really know what you would call these, but they just kind of, kind of look like they're just little rounded pieces here. I'll show you in just a second. And they've added three dots. And they've taken this in just a little. And extending this out just a little. 
and then they fill that in with stripes. And then they just added some fire in the back, I guess to give us the impression that it's shooting off. So I'm going to show you the picture of that <clears throat> to kind of give you the idea of how that looks compared to ours. Okay, so if you want to draw the flames in the background, you can. I don't think I'm going to draw mine though because I kind of want mine kind of floating in space. And I'm thinking about adding a few of my own touches here because it's just kind of a plain generic little um, space shuttle. I think I want to put like USA on there. Maybe I want some windows or some doors. I want it to kind of have the part of it open because I want it to be like my little dude is on a little space walk. So I'm thinking about adding something like this in here to make it look like the doors are open. The hatch, part of the hatch is open. So I have to get rid of this. I'm just trying to think of some space movie I watched where they had part of the ship could come open like this. It was sealed off from the rust. Then it could come open like this. And um, the aliens were, aliens, excuse me, the astronauts were tethered to the ship. So I think I'm going to have something like that. And then I'm going to have like this. Like this. And then I'm going to have that like connected to my astronaut right here. And then as this gets closer, I'm going to make it very, very, very skinny back here. But as it gets closer, my tube needs to get a little bit more substantial. Because remember, as things are getting closer to the viewer, which again means closer to the bottom of the page, things are going to get bigger and more detailed. And then I'm going to erase parts inside of here because this tube, again, would not be made of glass. We wouldn't be able to see through it, so we wouldn't see the space shuttle through our tubing or rope or tether. So I'd do something like that. And then I would have my astronaut floating through here. And I might be able to put, oh, turn my paper again. I might put like a little, even though I think the windows would probably be tinted, I might put a little um, alien again. I might put a little astronaut in here with his hood down. And his little hand up. Hey, what's going on out there? Just saying hi. I think I am going to put USA. So I'm going to draw two lines like this, two parallel lines, so that my letters stay the same size. So I have a tendency to draw like really big and then get really little, or really little and get really, really big. And the first thing I'll do is I always stick figure or pencil out my letters. And then I go back and make them fat or block letters or bubble, however you want to do it. You. You. Yes. And then I erase what I don't need anymore. I might put a flag right here because it's not really centered and it's a little bit off and I don't want it to look kind of weird. So I might put a little flag right here. But again, that far away, you're not going to see all of the detail. So there's no way I'm going to try to put 50 stars on there. And I'm just going to put a few little stripes in there because the details being that far away. If you remember the video where we talked about details and things being in the distance, it's going to be blurrier, not as much details. Okay. 
So, in fact, I think I'm going to erase this little astronaut hand because there definitely would be seeing that detail. I just kind of leave it like that. Okay? So, I feel like that's a pretty good spaceship right now. Hopefully, your space shuttle has turned out nicely. Don't forget, pause, rewind, um, fast forward if I went too slow, rewind if I went too fast, okay? So, there is video number two. Space Shuttle. And uh, my next video will be to work on an astronaut. And I think I'm going to do a chibi astronaut. I have a chibi video out there. If you haven't seen that yet, look for it. Um, for those of you who are in my NTI, I have it on Schoology and Remind. I'll see if I can get it on my Google YouTube channel as well. Guys, be safe and be careful out there, okay?